This is television for the Isles of Scilly, brought to you with Truro and Penwith College and the Scilly Lottery. From Radio Scilly, this is SillyTV.com. At the moment, the Council's Economic Development Unit is looking after tourism in Scilly. Now a task and finish group who will be charged with putting together the blueprint and setting out the roadmap for a new super tourism authority to replace the Council, Ireland's Tourism and Island Marketing have met for the first time, as Julian Pearce explains. Well, as you know, we've received the Blue Cell reports, went through a period of community cons- consultation. We pulled that through. One of the things that came up with was the recommendation we should move towards a single tourism partnership. So that's putting our three existing bodies of island marketing, island tourism, and the council's tourist board together to be one tourism partner. Now, we need a task and finish group, really, to set up the structures of that so it's a body that can move forward positively from the word go. So we've set up a task and finish group, literally with that remit, to basically move us from where we are now to establish the process of transfer to this new body. So it'll be looking at constitution, looking at finance, looking at really how we can do this, looking at the legal aspects, taking us through to that next stage. It's a really important stage. It's going to be critical to how we move forward. And I think also it's really important that people know that there is movement, there is action after the report, so to speak. So that's where we are. And these people won't necessarily be on the finished group? Oh, most definitely not, no. This is a one group set up purely to do these structures. The people identified are there to support that. One of the things they'll be doing is recommending the ultimate structure, how the board will be constituted, how membership will be constituted, how we move that forward. This group will not necessarily move into that management structure at all. People may be part of it, but that will depend on the structure and how we build the governance up. And there are people on this panel that you would probably expect to be on yourself, obviously, as council's representative for tourism as an officer, and you've got Christine Saville, who been the role of chair of the tourist board is on it, I guess. Also, you and Roger, the vice chair of Ireland Tourism. But you've got Steve Hicks as well. Yes, well, well, I, I, we're welcome to have Steve. It's delighted, actually, to have someone like Steve actually representing the Boating Association. So it's really nice to see them engaging in this process. And I think it's really key when we look at these structures and we look at how we want to take tourism forward, actually, we're casting the, wet, the, the net that little bit wider, making sure that we're not missing anything, making sure that we really are inclusive. What we've got to take forward, the body we're going to have, that's what's going to take tourism forward over the next 20, 30 years. So let's make sure we get it right. This is something I've said right from the start. Let's not rush, let's get it right, let's put that structure in place because it's not just about tomorrow, it's about our children's tomorrow as well. You were slightly at odds with a councillor who thought that, uh, uh, no, what was the quote, that um, officers um, sank her heart when they talked about taking time to do things and you can work all night and get something done in 24 hours or stretch it out over a year. Any response to that? No, I, I appreciate that comment. I appreciate it at the time and I think she's, she's right in saying that. It, it can make people's hearts sink when they think, oh dear, oh dear, it's going to take a long time. But I think the reality is, I think if you look at actually what we've achieved in tourism, um, particularly in this last year, We've sorted out the lag application, we've taken this through, we had deadlines to meet, we've met them as we've gone through. And I think that's the process. It's not a case of rush and dive in, it's actually do it properly. So that's how, that would be my reply to that. So Friday's meeting, what did you actually do? Well, what we did, we looked at the group, we've established who should be the members of it, and we've put together a basic work programme so that we can work on that, so that we should be looking towards a deadline of around about uh, early next year when we can really start to see that structure fall together so we thought obviously everyone's very busy doing their other jobs this is additional to that so we're going to look at the structures we're going to look at the constitution and start looking at the finances and then we'll move forward to the next bit which will be things like possible recruitment possible membership approaches and it'll be a step-by-step approach so we're looking at the initial tasks that we have to do to make sure that we can manage this transition and is all this going to be made public like a, a sort of timeline or blueprint that people will be able to see? I don't think necessarily it needs to be made public. I think people need to know that the action is taking place and they need to be updated with how it's going and when that structure is formed. However, it's very clear that really 
I think what the community want now is action. They want something to be done. The role of this group is to actually do it, is to get us to that next stage. Then we can start putting the actions in place. Then we have a body that can move us forward. And the end result will be this overarching super tourism body that represents everything. Um, have you got a timeline? Are you working towards a date when this is going to take over? I think the intention is really that this should now be operational from sort of 2012, 2013. So we're, we're moving forward with those things. And again, I think it has to be appropriate. We have to see what hurdles, I'm sure we'll hit hurdles that we haven't even thought of yet. And actually, I'm sure that we'll find some things we actually reach agreement and we move forward quicker than we expected. So, but certainly, I think when we're looking forward and what we have to do with tourism, the sooner we get it in place, the better. The interesting thing is going to be cash, isn't it? Who actually pays for it? Uh, finances are going to be key to this. And I think one of the important things of this is actually recognising that by having a single partnership, we can actually combine the financial muscle of those three groups that we did have. Hopefully, we'll be looking at ways to generate more cash. The more finances we have, the more potential we have to market the islands better. Well, we know what the different bodies have done so far. Are there any additional things that you think this new authority, if you like, could actually take on that aren't being uh, fulfilled at the moment? I, I think the main thing will actually be integrating it. Whilst all the bodies have worked at the moment and moving it forward, sometimes they have actually done it at slight variance to each other or not necessarily in an integrated way. So things haven't necessarily followed on in a step-by-step -step process. And I think that's the sort of thing we really want to see initially. I don't think it's going to be a time of massive change, but it's a period of really an integrated approach combining resources and actually moving forward in a unified direction rather than three different groups moving forward in a direction but in a slightly ad hoc manner.